Do it yourself, Duke here. I've been promising the cable attachment, and today promises will be kept. Here's the power rack. Been using this thing like crazy. A lot of folks have built it. Now, today, we're gonna show how easy it is to put a cable attachment on it. And right over here is what we're gonna be needing. We're gonna need a drill, a quarter inch drill bit, a driver with the Torx head, and some inch and a quarter inch screws. We're gonna need four pulleys, two two inch pulleys, and two inch and a half inch pulleys. Now these things come apart, so we're gonna be able to attach them to that upper beam of the power rack. We're gonna need four of these. I'm only showing two here because I've already put a set on, which I'm gonna show you. So four one quarter inch bolts, four inches long, with washers and nuts. I'm gonna use a vice grip to put those back together, and a nut, a socket wrench, and a 7 16 end wrench, and some cable clamps, and 15 feet of 3 16 cable. This stuff is rated at 1,400 pounds breaking. So that's gonna be plenty. And then we got these hooks too that we're gonna use to add the bars to. Let's go right over here. I wanna show you how these cables have been put on. Up here, this is the back end. Now I've screwed through the bottom and put the inch and a half inch pulley up here. And down here is the two inch pulley. And that's where the cable's gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and put that other side on, show you how to do it, and then we're gonna attach the cable, and it's gonna work slick as a whistle. So let's get started. Okay, a lot of problems with the power rack is people put them in basements or sometimes garages, and there's a low ceiling. That's the case here, a low ceiling, and it's difficult to put stuff on top of that, but it's gonna be easy the way we're gonna do it. First thing we wanna do attaching the pulleys is find the center of the power rack because we want to be in the center so we can have optimum space here. That's 48 inches so the center is going to be 24 inches. We're going to mark that. That's our center at 24 inches. We're going to take our two inch pulley right here and to disassemble that you simply take out, that's where the vice grips come in handy, you kind of pinch that and you're going to take out that key that allows you to pull out the axle point the pin that holds the pulley inside and then the pulley just pops out so once we get that out we're going to take this two inch pulley the reason we're using the two inch pulley out here because that gives us a little distance away from that cross member so that cable's not going to come in contact with anything so we're basically going to find our center point right there and we're going to mark that like so and boom 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 and now we're going to take the quarter, the inch and a quarter screws in our driver. Put that in our drill. And then we're just going to attach this pulley apparatus. These are going to be fine to hold this in place because most of the weight you're going to be using on your lap pulls or your tricep push downs is a downward motion. That's where the top pulley comes into play, and that's why we have a top pulley, because all the weight and pressure will be on these big beams, and they're gonna support a lot. These pulleys, this one, the two inches rated at 480 pounds, and the smaller inch and a half is rated at 420 pounds, so that's gonna be plenty of weight. Most people aren't gonna do lat pull downs of over 400 pounds, so just saying that is the rating on these things. These are bought, at a local hardware store. They're made by Stanley. You can buy them at Home Depot or wherever. They're actually sealing pulleys, but in this case, we have holes to drill here, and there's holes here for these kind of pulleys, but in our case, we're gonna use it like this. So we're gonna go ahead and attach that. We disassembled the pulley, so now we're just simply gonna put it back together. Then you'll be able to put this key back in like so. 
and there you go. That gives a compression there. And there's the first pulley. Now the second one is a little more challenging. What we have to do, since it's gonna be on top here, and we want it right above that. We don't wanna come in conflict with, conflict with those screws, but those only go in about there. So we're gonna line it up here on the bottom first, drill the holes, and then go ahead and put the bolts through and put this on top. As you can see, we don't have enough to, <laughs> we don't have enough room to work up there because somebody put a ceiling too low. <laughs> it wasn't me by the way, but so we'll go ahead and put that up there, the pulley in there. And man, we're almost home free. The first, the first part of the cable attachments. So we got the markings. We're gonna go ahead and use our quarter inch drill bit on our drill and try to get as straight as we can. Okay, that's hole number two. Now let's take our bolts over here, our quarter inch bolts, put our washers on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put them up like so. Then, after that's done, we've already disassembled this pulley apparatus. We'll put that back together. Those bolts are gonna come through these two holes. Then we're gonna put a nut on them, cinch them down, and then go ahead and put our pulley back in there, our wheel. There you go. Now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and put the nuts on there. So then after you get the bolt in, go ahead and tighten it with your socket wrench. So we're gonna put our little wheel in there. Turn our little axle right there. Then we can take our vice grip, pinch that. So we're gonna add a couple items to the pulley. They're just an inch and a half, quarter inch bolt, and a nut. What that's gonna do is just keep that cable from flipping around. The thing is, once, once the weight's on there, it's gonna, it's gonna be pulling against the cables anyway. But when you take the weight off, say, you won't wanna have you won't want to have to put the cable back on the pulley every time. So this will just keep the, the pulley from falling off of there. I'll put one here. It's kind of cool because there's accommodation for it. It wasn't meant for these. It was meant for attaching it to a ceiling. But, you know, DIY Duke and his innovative mind came up with it himself. <laughs> Probably patent it. So go ahead and put the one on the top also. And now I'll just keep there the cable in place. Simple. Of course, you'll need four one quarter inch, inch and a half bolts with four nuts to complete that guide. So, our next step is to go ahead and pull our cables around. We're going to put this through there, which doesn't have to be through there, it has a, a nice opening. But the cable will end up going like this. We're gonna use three of these on each side. These are 5 16 inch cable clamps. That's what's gonna keep this cable together. It's always recommended to use three of these. You've probably seen those videos where a guy's doing an exercise on YouTube and something breaks and it, yeah, that's not gonna happen with us. A little time has passed since I started this project. As you can see, no goatee and no awesome pork chops had to. I've got a movie roll coming up and I'm going to look good for that. So back to this business, we're going to put this last one on and to some of the adjustments I made, you know, kind of trial and error, this cable I mentioned was 15 feet. It's going to be 14 feet because that's going to give us the proper length there. I was a little foot long on that and I changed that and I did a couple of other improvements I'll show you as well. So that will be seen 
in the updated description list. Those things that showed in the beginning of the video, you're going to need those, but we're going to add a few things as well. What's really cool, when we get this all put together, we're going to take our dip bar pipe that we use for a dip bar video. That's going to be a multi-purpose pipe. We're going to drill a couple holes in there, then we're going to put a U-bolt in there. Then that's going to go right in the snap ring. This is all going to be done without any welding. Initially, I was going to do it with some welding and stuff like that, but it's more applicable if it's without the welding because not everybody has a welder. And it's going to be way easier to do it that way. So we're going to go ahead and tighten this down. Then we're going to move on. And some of the improvements are with those little bolts that hold these cables on. And I'll show you how that's done. So let's go ahead and tighten this for the last one. And we'll be ready to show those other improvements. This is one of the improvements. We have our inch and a quarter, quarter inch bolt. And I noticed that when we put that up there, the cable was hitting those threads. So to prevent any kind of wear on that, I bought these little sleeves that go over the quarter inch bolt. And these are three quarters of an inch. That's going to go in there. We're going to tighten that off. And that cable is going to be a nice smooth transition. That's going to keep that cable from coming out. And real simple, put your bolt through, put your little sleeve on there, and get your nut on there, and go ahead and tighten that down. Beautiful. How do we attach the weights to the other end? Really simple. You know, I debated, let's weld a pipe, but again, nobody has, not everybody has a welder. So get yourself 40 inches. And it's depending, you know, whatever your weights are, you can go in various lengths. The easy thing is you can adjust the lengths with your snap ring by doing it this way. I'll demonstrate that. You got 40 inches of a quarter inch chain. That's going to be plenty strong enough. So we took our 40 inches of chain and went ahead and hooked it to the cable end and the chain end. And we adjust it for length for this 45 pound plate. Again, the simplicity of it is great because you can add weight and, and there's enough chain where you can expand the chain and make it long enough. And then what that did is made our cable shorter. And we're just going to put this here. And we're going to come down here. You know, you can lay it there and when you start your exercise, you're going to be in this position and you're going to be able to do whatever exercise you want to do as far as this cable, single cables concerned, like a tricep push down or behind the neck or lap pull. Now we need one more item to complete this project. And that's a piece of three quarter inch pipe, which again is from our dip bar. We're going to take that drill a couple holes. That's really not going to hurt the integrity of this that much. The holes aren't going to be that big. And that's going to allow us to have like a lap pull behind the neck, in front, we'll be able to get down, we'll be able to do all sorts of things, and that, that's gonna be really versatile. So let's go ahead, find the center of this, drill a couple holes then, and then we're gonna take a U-bolt, this is 7 16 drill a couple holes in that, put that through, bolt it down, and then we're gonna have a place for that hook to go to. And that's gonna attach Our pipe and then we can take that loose again use it for the, our dip bars or whatever so let's go ahead and drill those holes okay we've got our three-quarter inch pipe which by the way this particular pipe is about four feet long we're gonna find the center we're gonna go ahead and mark that and then we're gonna take our u-bolt I'm just gonna use a sharpie and mark that in the center okay all done there's our two points there now we're going to take a metal punch this is going to make it easier for that drill bit to center on those so take your metal punch grab yourself a hammer find the center of that whack it And there you go, we're ready to drill those. While we're here, just happen to have these things. If over time your pulleys wear out, you don't have to replace the whole things. They sell, like this is the inch and a half for the inch and a half pulley sheave. Really simple. You just pull that key out, pull that 
axle part out and put a whole new wheel on for like four bucks. I mean, it'll last for a long, long time, but say down the road, you start seeing some wear on there or they start kind of not rolling as well because it, this pulley is getting wore out. That's a vinyl covered cable, so it's gonna slide really easy. You can even spray some silicone on there too. That's gonna make some, some really good uh, frictionless movement there. And a can of silicone will look something like this. This is Napa variety. Just spray a little bit of silicone on those, those areas where the pulley is. That's gonna make it a lot nicer more fluid movement. So we've got this done. We're gonna go ahead and take this. In this case, we're gonna use a little drill press and drill that. Okay, I'm gonna use a little drill press. You can use a, a hand drill too as well. So I'm gonna start with a smaller drill bit and then work my way up to the, the larger drill bit. So let's go ahead and drill this thing. Get her U-bolt in. We've got her holes drilled. Perfect. I want to drive that back through, and then we're going to put our nuts on that thing. We have that first nut on. We're going to go ahead and add another one to lock that all in place and tighten that. That's going to give you a double security thing. Like I said, you do not want this thing to come loose. And the cool thing is, it doesn't matter if it goes that way. What's important? is it doesn't come out this way and bonk you in the face or the head or whatever you're doing. So let's take it down, hook it up to her cable, pump some iron or cable some iron. Okay, we got her U-bolt on there. Let's go ahead and clip it into place. Okay, we're ready to do some tricep push downs. There's a 45 pound plate. Oh yeah, that's feeling like working the tricep. Okay, there's a cable attachment for the power rack. Really simple. Rudimentary, yes, but simple, you'll have to admit. Now, if you want to get by all this stuff, you could take your pipe to a welding shop and just have them weld that on. Or if you have a welder, you could do it yourself. But that is the cable attachment where you're gonna be able to do different things. <clears throat> like lap pulls, oh yeah. And the more weight you put on it, the stronger you're gonna get. And remember, you can gently put your weight down and feel confident that this cable's not gonna break. And those cable clamps aren't gonna come loose. That's 1,400 pounds. I don't know. Maybe I'll get there someday, but it's gonna take a while. Do it yourself, Duke. Until next time, stay buff.